This video is dedicated to helping you with the uh, taller posture. Uh, one of the problems with doing core work, for example, in fitness or in any type of um, core work where we isolate these muscles, is often we start to shorten uh, in through the hip flexors, in through here, and also sometimes in through the shoulders. Um, because we're doing a lot of contracting in through the abdominal wall, even in plank. So that, as well as sitting quite a bit at the desk and having this forward focus, doesn't usually allow us to get much of an opening in through the core muscles. So this is a really good routine to do to counter the tightening that can happen in the front um, panel of muscles that cause us to get into this rounded shoulder position and the head forward. So come on down to your mat, come on down, and we'll do some postures specifically aimed at helping your front body open and improve your posture. So we'll take the hands right underneath the shoulders and you're going to start by stretching the right heel out and then the left heel out. Um, actually, let's take the knees down um, and reach the heels out. So I want you to feel like you're, you're uh, long in through the uh, tailbone coming back. Now take the legs out lower to the ground by sending the pubic bone forward if that's okay and then come down now point the toes and press the elbows right underneath the shoulders so we're coming into sphinx pose now you press the elbows down you gaze ahead and you press the tops of the feet down and you do a lift of the low abdomen so you're pulling it up off the mat and as you gaze ahead you keep the shoulder blades coming down the back, and you do that by piercing the elbows down into the mat. That will help you jaw down. And also press the baby toe side, especially down, because that will open the tailbone down more. Keep lifting from the rib cage, opening the chest. And now uh, press into the palms, into the flesh of the forearms as the elbows press down and see if you can straighten out forward so it feels like you're shining your heart forward and up while you press the tops of the feet down. If you feel a crunch in the low back here, see if you can press your feet down more to pull the pubic bone down more and that ought to help. If it doesn't, bend the elbows and come down like this. Lower a little bit more. But if, if it does help to press the feet down, do that. So keep scooping your ribs forward pubic bone down, press, and if you come into a longer cobra, that's great too, but see that you feel like you're reaching forward with the chest, not up like this. You're not trying to go up, but you're attempting to go forward. Big difference as far as working the um, front panel of the muscles, the abdominals, and then gently release, come down. Now, take the hands to the outside. This one's kind of different. You're gonna have your fingertips right in line with your elbows, and your elbows are to the ceiling. Now keep reaching the legs out, pressing them down. Breathe and come up. Notice the elbows keep flaring out so they're not back, and you're gazing up, but don't lift the chin too much, just about 20 degrees, and you're pressing the tops of the feet down. Now turn and look to your left, look up, and let the right elbow come forward. Keep the elbows high, just the right elbow forward. Look up, lift, and then return to the center, elbows center, and then breathe in and look up to the right. Inhale, left elbow comes forward, exhale back to middle, keeping the elbows out. Breathe in, look up to the left, right elbow forward, forward, lift, and then come on back to center. If you're crunching in through one side of the low back, please don't turn, just do this, come straight up. And then turning to the right, looking up, left elbow forward, and then return to the middle, elbows stay out, come down to the earth, let the uh, tops of the feet still press down, and then take the hands alongside, and you can hear I'm, <laughs> I'm really working here, so press the tops of the feet down, breathe in and lift, and move the hands towards the feet. Now, if that's a piece of cake, reach the heels out. 
and open through the chest as you lift. Here comes the train. Get the hands reaching back. Breath, breath, lift. breath, and then gently lower. Now, take the hands beside the chest. Elbows are into the side body. And press them in. Breathe in. Come on up. Bend into the knees, and then exhale back. Child's pose the bum back. Release the forehead to the earth. Really nice counter stretch. Breath. Good, and then just do a little shift of the bum side to side. Okay, now the next stretch to help open up in through this uh, front panel of muscles, um, I'm going to give you a couple versions so that it feels right for your body. One is to come into a standing kneel, the knees are apart, and you're pressing the tops of the feet down. That helps to pull the tailbone down. Now you do a, a lift of the rib cage and you pull the sternum up towards the ceiling. Now in the, the full pose of camel, you take the hands, it's kind of nice to take them on the back of the legs, and you send the pubic bone forward. So I'm going to go slowly here. So you send the pubic bone forward, the elbows come back. Now see if you can really pull the panel up. So when I say the panel right here, this, this full whole front line. And then you send the hips forward. And if that's good and you can still breathe, you're not like <gasps> catching and gasping. <laughs> so keep the breathing in and out through the nose. Then you can take the hands onto the heels and send the hips forward and your gaze into the ceiling. Now I'm going to demonstrate that really rapidly. I'm on fingertips, you might go to the hands. If that's too much, come back up and press the hands onto the low back. Waiting for the train. Um, hands on the low back. Send the hips forward. So you're going to send the hips forward. Lift from the rib cage. Send the hips forward. So really those front pockets keep sending forward. That keeps you from crunching in the low back. If you do feel the low back tightening, Back off. Bring um, a lift up of the body, but keep the hips forward. Here's what I mean. Just taking a look. Keep the hips forward, but come up with the upper body more, so you're more to lift here. Okay? And then, if that's easy, again, take the hands down the back, keep the hips forward, lift the head, and again, if that's too much, draw the chin down, and keep the elbows back, and keep the lift of the rib cage. And breath, and breath, in and out through the nose to continue to open up that front panel of core uh, muscles. Breath, wow, and then gently lift, <laughs> and come on down. <laughs> now, let the uh, bum sit back. If that's too much in through the knees or the ankles, please take the legs in front, okay? So you have the legs straight out. <clears throat> Pardon me, and then you're just going to lift from here. Let your low back drop, and then take the arms to the side and release right into child's pose. Release the forehead to the ground. Let the palms reach back, let the shoulders fall forward. Breath. And just breathing in and out through the nose, letting the shoulders fall forward. Really good. And then you can slowly uncurl. And feel free to repeat that child's pose to counter stretch the low back after all that front opening. Okay, well done. Thank you for taking the time for your body.